So I just took my handy dandy pocket knife here and I just scored, uh, you know, ever so gently on the end of this cable, just kind of rubbed it on top, rubbed it on the bottom, the same general area, well, on the bottom of the green cable. And then I uh, just, you just flick that sheet, sheeting right off. And then I'm going to take a, uh, I don't think I can do this all at once. All right, I'm going to try to hold the camera and do this all at once. Take my small screwdriver, go in here to the C terminal. Gonna go in here to the C terminal. Undo it a thread or two. Let's see if we can get our green wire to find a home down in here. There we go. Slides right in there. Anywhere. It can be on the same side, it can be on the opposite side. Just get her in there to stay. And I'll have to put the phone down, but you can see what I'm after here. Okay, and you can see I've got uh, that green wire is in there on that terminal now. I've tightened it down. Make it really snug, but don't smoke it, smoke it down. Uh, and then give it a tug. Make sure none of these wires are going to come out of here. Might as well check them all since you're in here, right? So now, uh, this unit, I should have power, 24 volts, down to my thermostat on my upstairs unit. And like I said, I, I'm going to go ahead and wire in the orange wire for my C-terminal on that one, even though I'm not planning to use it right now. But I don't really want to come up here again in the future if I don't have to. So I'll wire it up up here. I'll put a little tag on it uh, downstairs. Say, this is your C-wire. If anybody behind me ever buys this house and wants to use it, they don't have to come up here and rummage around. Okay, and there is my orange wire on my, my downstairs unit is uh, now wired in. You can see it right there next to the green wire that was already wired in. And uh, I'm just going to put this cover on. already got that one on. Let's go back downstairs and we'll wire up our thermostat. Okay, so now we got that upstairs stuff done. Now we got to take off this old uh, base plate, mount the new one. Uh, and the instructions say to label each wire with labels uh, indicating what they're what they're set to on here you know R W Y G uh, don't go by the color but you can just I'm taking a video so obviously I'm gonna remember uh, but you can take a picture of it and since it's Honeywell to Honeywell and I imagine most of these are the same uh, you know R C R W Y G C R C R W Y G C so all the wiring is gonna be the same from top to bottom except I'm gonna add that that green as yet to as yet unconnected wire uh, down to the C terminal on here. So I'm going to go ahead and take these wires off with the flat blade, pull them out, pull that base plate off, put this one on there. This is slightly larger, so I think I'm going to have to move the mounting holes over, of course, um, and then that'll be that. Wonder of wonders, I was able to use the old holes that had the old anchors already in there. This top hole, I just took a drill bit and just um, modified the plastic slot here just a little bit so the screw would move over to the left. Uh, this one down here, there was no problem with. So now it's up mounted and secure. It's just time to hook up the wires. We'll plug it in and see what happens. Okay, there this is, all wired up. Everything nice and tight. So uh, before we put this on here, we've got to put in a uh, one of these watch batteries uh, comes with the kit, so we'll take it out of here, pop it into this slot, and then uh, proceed. And here are my breakers. Uh, yours may or may not be labeled. Good luck figuring it out. AC1, flip her back on, and AC2. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. All right, just turn my power back on. There I've got the battery in, it tells you plus that way, minus that way, batteries labeled on top and bottom. So now, let's go ahead and pop this baby on here, and we should get some lights, uh, if I've done it right. With any luck, oh, that's a good sign. Okay, there it is, all mounted up, secure. Uh, mine took a fair amount of pushing to get it to click into place. And then it looks like my C-Power wire has worked because it's asking for Wi-Fi setup. We got green, uh, and this is all great. So from here, 
set the date. February. It's today the ninth already. Okay. And we'll hit done. Okay, set time. It is 1.35. Six PM done. If I set up, all right, saying it's seventy degrees inside, which is about right. Uh, fan is auto, which is fine. Our system right now is heat. And this is just like my old Honeywell system so far. Okay, so I just did something there to test it out and see if it's communicating with the air handler. I turned the fan from auto to on and it's running. Let's put it back to auto. Here, click. And that should shut off here in a second. Okay, and it did. Let's turn it back on. Click. All right. So we're talking, that's good. Uh, now the Wi-Fi is set up. Uh, you have to download an app to your smartphone, which is probably how most people are gonna do it, or their iPad. Or you can do it on the computer, but I'm gonna do it on the app, and then the app will walk you through it. Um, it's gonna hook into your home network, and then it's gonna see this thing out here, which is gonna be called thermostat, uh, new thermostat, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then from there, uh, you know, the app is going to walk you through the rest of this. My purpose was to show you how to mount it and how to run a C wire if you don't have one, uh, which hopefully you've got a spare wire on the wall like I did for both of mine. And now my downstairs is wired for it whenever I need uh, to upgrade if I want to do a Nest or an Ecobee or something like that. So anyway, if you have any questions, uh, hit me up.